Hey guys, let's talk about some channel updates and changes. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Channels updates and changes are what we are going to be discussing today. I felt like this was a great time to do it as I am coming up on my October wrap up. But I have kind of been wanting to shift what I've been doing on the channel for a little while and have let other things get in the way. We've had this discussion before, right? We've had this discussion before. <laughs> uh, so here is my vision for what I want to do with this channel moving forward. There have been a few videos that have come out recently from like Tori uh, from Tori Talks and Andrew from Andrew's Wizardly Reads talking about certain things, certain expectations on booktube and everything like that. And this has kind of prompted me to take a step in a different direction than what my channel is currently doing. So one of the things that's most important about doing booktube is that you stay passionate about it because the passion comes across or doesn't whenever you're recording your videos. And for me, I love the idea of a buddy read, but I'm not good at it. I am so not good at it. Not at all. I want to give my thoughts on the books. I want to check in and, you know, just tell everybody what I'm feeling and all of that wonderful stuff. But I read too dang fast. As you guys know, I average about 5,000 pages a month. I read anywhere from 10 to 15 books a month. And so that means I go through the books very fast. I'll go to buddy read something with somebody and by the time they feel like they've gotten started with the book, I'm finished. So yeah, there's that. But that's also why I have adopted blogging. And there are a couple reasons for this, that being the main one. But I'm also a very busy stay at home mom. I homeschool, I clean, I cook, I do all of those things. I take care of the house. All of that is my responsibility. And so I like vlogging because I only have to record for about five minutes. I, I can sit down with you guys for five minutes, give you my thoughts and feelings on what I'm reading and move on with my day. These videos take a lot out of me, just standard videos because I do have ADHD and I have to find time to record whenever you are a stay at home mom and all of the responsibilities of the house fall on you and you have an 11 year old. Well, <laughs> things have a tendency to go in an opposite direction very quickly, very quickly than what you anticipated. So all of that to say that I am going to start doing vlog style videos every week. This is not a promise or guarantee though, because I do still suffer from PMDD and from PCOS and all of that stuff. So there will be weeks when my functionality is at zero and I don't want to be doing videos whenever I'm in a state like that because it's boring for you guys. I don't like hearing whining. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear me whine. And so there might be some weeks that I don't vlog or there might be some weeks that different type of video goes up that week. But that also leads me into the next thing that I want to talk about and why I want to talk about it currently is because my October wrap up is coming. I have seen a few people do this and I really like the concept. I like the idea because there's a lot of times when we read three star books and us as reviewers, we want to tell you why we thought that they were three stars or why we just didn't click with something. However, those videos tend to be boring because you didn't love anything about it, but you didn't hate anything about it. And they're boring for us to make and they're boring for you guys to watch. So I like to set it up in the style. Like I said, I've seen a few different booktubers do this where I go through my stats at the beginning of the month. Then we go through all of the books I read and their rating. They're just standard rating. And then I will talk about the disappointments that I've had, the five stars that I've had, 
and the ones that kind of stood out to me. So most people do it as disappointments, hits, and surprises, or disappointments, surprises, and hits in that order. And I really like that idea a lot more than sitting here for 30 minutes to an hour trying to tell you about every single book that I read. Having not loved or hated any of them, we did just come off of a three-star month for me. You guys can look and watch that video and kind of see what I'm talking about. Like, it was not the best video to watch because I had so many three stars. I had nothing great to say. I had nothing awful to say about the books. I just had nothing to say. <laughs> so I kept feeling like there was word vomit happening because I didn't have content other than it was fine. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I tried explaining some of them, but some of them I was just like, I didn't click with it. Like that's, that's my thought with it. I, I didn't click with it. What, what else do you want? <laughs> also, we just talked about how I have a tendency to read 10 to 15 books a month. If you guys have been following for a while, you will know that I set out to lower the amount of books read this year as opposed to last year. And guys, I, I, I was not, I was not successful. I was not successful. I'm already almost at a hundred books read and it's kind of bugging me a little bit that I didn't stick to my goal. I did get out and enjoy the world a bit more. I did participate in life a bit more this last year. You guys have probably seen the vlogs that denote that, but one thing I feel like booktube pressures us to do is to churn out content. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And it can take away from the reading experience for a lot of us. Now, coming up within this next year, maybe in the next couple months, I don't know when exactly I'm going to do it, but I want to do a full reread of Nevernight because I have the annotated editions of them. I did buy cotton gloves so that I don't mess these up, but that's something that I want to take my time with. I want to enjoy. I want to be able to probably pause the audiobook and read like the little annotations that he wrote in and the little funny things. I want to be able to enjoy them. That takes time. It does. And it t it's going to take as long as it takes, but I still want to do it. And I feel like that things like that will get me back to a happier reading space. And I want to do some rereads anyway. Like there are some YA that I have on my shelves that I've had for so long. I want to just read them and see if they hold up. I have the Threadwitch series by Susan Dennard. I have Scythe by Neil Schusterman. There are just a couple that I would really love to put my hands on, do a reread of them. Uh, Graceling is another. I have really beautiful UK editions and there was a new one released, but I haven't read those in so long that I'm going to have to reread the series to get to the new one. I think it's called Sea Sparrow, but I'll put a picture of the UK cover so you guys can see them. I, I want to reread those and I want to get back to reading organically. So there is this thing that a lot of booktubers have a tendency to do, and that is given to the hype. Now I, I'm not big on hyped books. I try really, really hard not to give in to the hype. However, I don't think I would have ever read Fourth Wing if it wasn't for the dang hype and how many people were absolutely going gaga over it or not going gaga over it. Now, my romantic that I was so excited about was The Hurricane Wars. It hasn't done quite as well because I think it takes an understanding of Star Wars to actually really enjoy it. But a Fourth Wing was the most entertaining book I think I've ever read. And I loved it. It was great. So I don't think that giving into the hype is necessarily a bad thing. I think what happens is that a lot of us booktubers, we want to gravitate towards what's popular so that our videos get watched and that pulls you guys in. However, I've said from the very beginning, that's not my goal. I'm here for the outcasts and the outsiders who don't read the popular books, who don't fangirl over Brandon Sanderson and things like that. The people who want to find something else, something other than Brandon Sanderson to read. So I really feel like I've lost a bit of my organic quality in purchasing. I've lost my a little bit of my organic 
style I, <laughs> from books that I pick up or how I choose books. And I want to go back to that. I want to go back to reading blurbs, looking at covers and picking a book. That's really what I want to do. And I have this set up for myself in my script, in my Libby, all of those things. I have this set up for me to succeed. <laughs> Now the other thing, the final thing I need to talk about and the changes that are going to be coming is I will be moving not anytime soon, but in the next few years. And one of the things that I really would like to start doing is not purchasing books unless I intend to keep them. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start using my library. I am going to start using Scribd, Libby, Audible. Um, I have 161 unread books in my Audible or unlistened to, if you guys want to be finicky about that crap. Um, but I also have over 100 unread books on my shelves. So I'm going to try and go through those. We're still kind of doing the ultimate unhaul project. I'm just going to go about it in a very different way. But I want to get to the books that I am excited about. I want to get to the books that I picked up. Not that booktube told me to pick up or Twitter told me to pick up. Maybe some that my friends told me to pick up. But, you know, I'm looking at stacks of books that I've purchased on my own without any influence going, that's what I want to read. That, that, that's it. That's what I want to read. And so I will be probably not doing as many book hauls because I don't know what I'll be buying. And the book hauls that I will have will either be buy, sell, trade or books I've already read. So I hope you guys <laughs> will still stick around and watch those book hauls, even though I've already read the books. And it might be a little bit of a mini wrap up for Gewa, or you will see, you know, my five stars. But for now, I'm going to hold off on buying books unless I've read them. Now, I do still have my fairy loot, uh, adult fairy loot. I do still have book of the month. So those will still be coming. I do plan to do something with my fairy loot and book of the month books in a different video. So we will get to that. Um, I might end up getting a Lumicrate. I don't know. One thing is these things cost money. So even though you guys would love to see them on my channel, they cost money. So I have to pick and choose. And there are certain other things that I, I don't want to get into in this video, but that's basically the updates that I wanted to give you guys. I hope it was cohesive. You guys know with my ADHD, I will rabbit trail and I don't have notes for this video, <laughs> but that's it. That's all the things I needed to talk about with you guys. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Like I said, these changes might not be all that drastic, but I did want to let you guys know where we were headed, what the new year is probably going to start looking like and how my videos and my way of doing videos, it might shift a little bit. Like, subscribe, do all the fun things. Don't forget, I also have my Pango code down below where you can get $5 off of your first Pango book if you would like to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.